Hayes, the presenter of the long-running children's TV programme Rainbow, has died. I don't think I like sharing a bed anymore. I think I should have a bed of my own. A bed of your own? Yes. Geoffrey Hayes was 76. He hosted the show from 1974 to 1992. His manager said the actor and TV presenter died in hospital, surrounded by his family. We're joined by Ronnie LeDrew, who operated Zippy, one of the puppets in Rainbow, and very fond memories I have of it too. Thank Ronnie, you. thank you for coming in. You, what was the, the just explain for anyone who doesn't remember Rainbow okay. what the setup was. Well, basically, it was a preschool program for, I mean, for very young children to teach them a little bit about the education of the world, really. And um, Zippy and George, the two puppets, were the sort of the young children, as it were, of the program. I mean, they were puppets, of course, but and Bungle was the T cuddly teddy, teddy bear and Geoffrey was the grown-up who sort of steered us through all the different sort of ideas and events that happened on the programme. What, how difficult was his job as a presenter? Because he, 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 he had a very light touch, didn't he? He did indeed and he was really a, ge a very gentle character person um, and uh, very unlike a sort of um, loud actor or anything like that. He was really gentle and very kind, kindly and we all loved him dearly. And, um, well, basically, he, his job, really, I mean, he steered us all. He made sure that we were happy and, um, well, and if it, Zippy, for instance, the character I worked, I mean, was always very naughty and um, always a loud mouth, always a know-all. And every time he got too much, Geoffrey then showed his authority and would zip him up. And um, that would be the fun part of the programme, in a sense. I was always surprised at how patient Geoffrey was. And Zippy didn't get zipped that often, really, well, did he? Well, you're right. <laughs> you're right. I mean, Zippy did get away with murder at times. And I think that was one of the, the things that the people who watched the programme loved. They loved to see this, this naughty character getting away with murder. But um, Geoffrey did, really. I mean, in a sense, I mean, he was always kindly towards Zippy, really. Although, you know, he did, you know, he had to zip him up occasionally. Um, when, you know, when he went too much, you know, or went too far. Uh, to have presented that programme from 1974 to 1992, not many people get a run like that, do they? No. What do you put that down to? Well, I think it was the popularity of the programme for a start. I mean, people just loved it. I didn't really know how many people loved it until we finished the, you know, shooting of the programmes and we did some live shows and then there were queues of people. People by that time were probably students in university or whatever, but queuing up to see our live shows and stuff. So um, I suddenly thought, my goodness. And of course, the other th thing was that I, know, I was there from the start or nearly the start and uh, we, we just had, you know, continuous sort of um, programmes made. I mean, we had a, a few weeks off in the year and then we were back again doing it again. So it was a bit like school terms, you know, we would go in, do our s s season of um, programmes and then we'd have a break and then we'd be back again. And it just went on and on for all those years. It's Geoffrey Hayes, obviously, I, I only ever knew him as mm. um, the, the man who presented Rainbow, but he had been an actor prior oh, to that. absolutely. And he was an absolutely brilliant character actor. Um, he did all sorts of wonderful things, actually on Rainbow itself. I mean, he played um, all wonderful characters on that. But I, I always think it was a shame that once Rainbow finished that directors and producers didn't actually pick him up and say, oi, this guy's, you know, a really good actor and we could use him in various other parts. I mean, you know, a bit of makeup, beard or whatever would, you know, make him into some amazing sort of character and I just felt that, um, you know, some, his talent was a bit underused after Rainbow possibly because he was the face of Rainbow. You know, everybody said, oh, when they saw him in the street, oh, that's Geoffrey from Rainbow, how's Bungle, how's Zippy? You know, which was fun at the beginning and I think it was a bit sad for Geoffrey at the end because he didn't really get that much work afterwards in a sense that, you know, he was always known as Geoffrey from Rainbow. Yes, absolutely. Um, but, but what was it like working with him all that time? Oh, it was an absolute pleasure. He was, as I say, he was very gentle. He'd you know, come in, he'd do the show. I mean, occasionally he'd get a bit upset about um, the puppets taking the, um, the limelight sometimes, which they did, of course, a lot of the time. But, um, but he was always nice to us, and we were like a big family. We, yeah. We'd meet up. As I say, it was like a school term. We'd meet up at, you know, for, for the shows, and we'd work together, and we'd just have lots and lots of fun, really. So it's, I'm really sad that he's gone, really. Of course, yeah. I mean, he was the glue. He held you all together. Absolutely. Without him, it would have fallen apart. Absolutely right. Absolutely Ronnie right. LeDrew, thank you very much for talking. Thank you very much for having me.